Welcome friends to the first Muskrat Major of the Year, where the points, prizes, and pressure are all doubled. To make this major even more special, today we are going to montage the first nine holes. Be sure you are subscribed for this exclusive content. Let's head to the first tee at the iconic Cypress Point. Now for our 11.45 tee time, currently one over par and tied for 66th in this Muskrat Major, please welcome Kyler Goffier. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Not bad, that'll work. 174 heavy rough, 17 feet uphill. Let's hit a five iron. Wrap around? Okay, chance to chip one close here. Let's go. Be good, roll out. All right, par on the first. Par five, up and over the cliffs here. Let's let this rip. Great ball there, perfectly safe. Let's go. 282 left in here. Let's rip the forward and see how close we can get. Looking good, let's stick this next one close. 45 yard lob wedge, let's see if we can dial this one in. Be good, settle right in there. What a shot, let's freaking go, that's a birdie. One under through two, par three, 160 yards, a little bit downhill, eight iron. All right, bunker shot time. 21 yard bunker shot, let's make the sand save happen. Ooh, that's gonna be close, give me six feet. Yes, let's go. One under through three, we're rolling. 403 yard par four, open for business. Oh, be right, be right. Oh, just misses the head, but that's another par. 56 is on fire. Back to back, gettable par fives. Let's turn these two into birdies. Boom, now that's a good drive. Right down the pipe, let's get it. 235 yards left, 25 feet uphill. Turn over for me, stay out of the trees. Oh, tee boxes, we'll take them. Need to thread the needle on this one. This would be clutch if we can get this anywhere on the green. Get through. We'll take a putt at birdie from there, let's go. Big right to left break on this one. Let's see if we can cash it in. Settle, settle. Not good, Bob, not good. We need this par save, let's drop it. Come on baby, turn, turn, turn. Dang it. Dropping a shot there. We get that stroke back here. Spin right there, oh my gosh. I told you we'd get that back, even par on the tournament. 181, 18 feet uphill. Let's see if we can get the six iron on the green. 56 is just carrying me this tournament, let's go. Sweeping dog leg right, let's see if we can cash in another birdie. Scare the hole, scare the hole. Oh, oh so close, one to play. 293, we are not taking prisoners today. That's okay, let's get this thing up and out. Brutal bunker shot here. Well, not great. We could be in struggle town. Oh, stay out. Well, we pushed it to the limit there, but now let's see if we can get out of here with a bogey. Hold, oh no. Not the ending we wanted, but we got a chance to drain this. No. Double bogey to end the montage. Uh, back to where we started and then some. All right, back nine is where we need the magic to happen. Well, some poor decision making put us back to two over for the entire tournament. Let's see if we can get under par on the back. Hopefully that montage was at least a little bit of fun for you guys. Now let's talk through some shots and see what we're gonna do here. 273 to the front of this bunker, just need a cozy drive. That's pretty cozy. Not gonna get too much distance on that one, but we shouldn't scare the bunker. Nice, beautiful, we will take that. 212 yards, 32 feet uphill into this green. It's a par five. I think we just take a nine wood and see if we can get anything up close here. She's carving, carve a little more for me. Bounce up there, get a good kick. All right, not terrible, we'll take that. This is pretty much a must make birdie hole. 24 yards left from the sand here. Pin is in a decent location running back towards us as well. Let's aim this a little bit off to the left and see if we can put this inside of six feet. Settle, spin, 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 spin. Oh, I should have told it to release. That's gonna be just outside of six feet, I think. That's like seven or eight. Eight feet, but a putt at birdie, let's go.
I would love to get some of those strokes back right here, a little left to right. I think we're gonna go just outside the left edge and be firm with this. Let's make it. Come on, start us off right. Oh, lips out the left edge, it was too firm. Oh, that's such a big missed opportunity, dang it. 451 yard par four up here. It is 290 to get to these bunkers, but we have a chance because it's so far downhill. So let's just try to hit it straight and give ourselves a look into this green. Carving one down there, not the longest drive, but we will take it. That is gonna stop short of the bunkers and give us a clean look in here. What do we got? Out to 280, beautiful. Our mid irons are usually pretty good, but we haven't seen them show up quite yet today. Let's go right at the center of this green, maybe tap it over a little bit, and just a nice, smooth eight iron. That is a nice, smooth eight iron. I think that's gonna be the perfect distance. Bounce out a little bit, break down there to the left. All right, that's the kind of approach shots we're gonna be looking for. Let's make this birdie count. All right, eight feet left, a little bit left to right. Let's not go too firm on this one, but let's freaking bury this thing. Has to go, has to go. It goes, birdie, back to one over on the whole tournament. Let's keep dropping this thing down. More birdies is what we're looking for. 409 yard par four up here, dog leg to the right. Let's see if we can just pound one out there and get something close. Pretty good looking drive. Are we gonna be able to kick through all this fescue? Let's see, give me a good bounce. Maybe, bounce, bounce, bounce. All right, we're still on the mulch, but that is A-OK. -okay. Let's hit this approach shot tight. 91 yards left in here from the mulch. Big green to work with. I like that. Let's see if we can get this 56 somewhere in the middle. Settle in there, settle in. Maybe a little kick left, friendly bounce. All right, beautiful. We spun that a little bit out of the mulch, which is nice. Putt for bird, let's go. Last round, we couldn't get any of our 20 footers to drop. We'll see if we can change that luck today. Left to right on this one, downhill, maybe right about there. Let's roll it and see what happens. Be good, be good to me. Keep breaking, keep breaking. Oh, just outside the edge. But again, tap in pars, no sweats. 388 yard par four here. Again, nice and open for driving. So let's just see if we can keep one straight. Well, that'll give us a left side for sure, but I don't think it's gonna be fairway. Kicking down into the rough there. That's okay, on top of the launch pad, 278. 132 left into this pin. Pin is at the back as well. Out of the heavy rough, hmm, it's either gonna be hard pitch or really light nine. I think I'm gonna go hard pitch actually and just go straight at this thing. Go pitching wedge, go a little bit for me. That is pretty much about what we expected. Great shot there, good distance control. Another putt for birdie, one time for me, come on. Never a good spot. Everything's always breaking so much. But again, let's just see if we can scare the hole here. That's what I'm looking to do. Probably going to be up around here and just let it die back over the hill. Yeah, something like that should be good. It's on the way. It's looking pretty good. Oh, it goes in. We finally get one to drop. Let's freaking go. That's another birdie. We're back to even on the entire tournament. Let's keep dropping this score down and get some points. Three hundred ninety-seven yard par four up here. We got boxed out a little bit on the left side last time. So let's see if we can stay more down the middle and give ourselves a clean look. Beautiful drive. Kept that one low and under control, right down the middle of the fairway. Might even catch a bit of the skinny portion here. That's a fantastic drive. One hundred four left in here. Eight feet uphill. Pin at the front. Pretty receptive as well. I think it's just going to be a fifty-two and see if we can get this one close. Hold it left a little bit, which means it's gonna be deep spin for me. Well, that's gonna be a mega long putt. Hopefully we can just get this one inside of six feet. 41 footer left here, but we only need to hit it 31 because it's quite a bit downhill. Not a lot of movement down by the cup. It kind of cancels out. So we got a little bit of right to left at the beginning. So I think we'll just aim right about there and honestly just give that a run. Kick is up, it is on the way. Do we have the right speed? Head down that hill, go ball, go ball, go. All right, beautiful pacing, we will take that. That is a par, couple more holes to go, I think. Yeah, let's see where that leaves us on the leaderboard. Actually, I think we just checked the leaderboard, Never mind. 140 yards, seven feet downhill. Ooh, we could try that hard pitching wedge again, that could be money. 
but I think we're gonna try the feathery nine and see if that does any better. The effortless nine is looking really good. Oh my goodness, oh, what a shot. That is one of the best shots I've ever hit on the simulator. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. That landed an inch in front, then hit the flag stick. Is that six feet? Yeah, that's how to make a birdie. Muskrat link style, let's go. Back to one under on the tournament, and what a way to do it. Holy cow. What a golf shot. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing after that. And now we're faced with this. Maybe the hardest hole in all of golf. 256 is what it's playing today. Honestly, it might just be a driver. I think we're just gonna take driver, try to swing easy. Lay one up there pretty much and just make sure we carry over all this crap. If we end up in the bunkers on the back, that is A-OK -okay with me. All right, this is a big one. Let's get onto land. Oh, we yanked it so far left. Please find a bunker again, find something. Oh, we're finding whatever that is. Is that sand? Is that OB? Where do we live? Heavy rough? Oh, dearie me. Well, now we are faced with essentially a wall 45 yards out of the heavy rough. I don't even know if we can get out of here, but we're gonna put a big swing on this, try to see if we can get it up as high as possible, as fast as possible, and my goodness, just pray. Come on, baby. Oh, we're up and out. What a shot. We cleared that by inches. Wow, that is a golf shot from down there. Holy cow. Okay, putt for par. That's all we can ask for. And what a par it could be if we can get this thing to go. Probably just right edge here. Yeah, 12 feet, a little bit downhill, breaking right to left. Right edge seems like money. Could be good, should be good. Yes, center cut, what a par. From out of nowhere, down making sandcastles to up making pars, let's go. Three hundred and ninety-five yard par four up here. Pin looks like it's in the back right or maybe front right, but we want to be out here just kind of near these bushes. So I think we'll aim a little bit further left here just to try to keep those bushes out of play. That is about as good as I can hit a drive swinging conservatively. Beautifully hit, dead straight, 260 carry, bounding out to 275, cash money. 135 yards left over the bushes, down to this pin left to right all over the screen. So we're gonna aim out to the left, I would say. Don't really wanna mess with that front edge too much. Just gonna take the pitching wedge and let her rip. Uh-oh, that is not good. Please make it to the bunker. Please get there. Settle. Oh, that is disaster. That is not good at all. Oh my. All right, I guess we're dropping here. All right, let's see if we can get out of here with a bogey. 84 yards, if we can stick this thing tight, we've still got a chance. So let's go ahead and take our 56 and try to dial this distance in perfect. Go ball, go ball. Oh, that's a bit too close for my liking, but we hit the green. Oh, that's gonna be a long putt to bury, but we'll give it a shot. Quite a bit going on in this putt. We're looking for 34 feet back up the hill, right to left as well. Let's see where that's gonna put us. Yeah, it's moving quite a bit at the beginning here, but we're gonna be powering through most of that break. So I think right there might be good. Come on ball, go, 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 go. Oh, that's such a good putt, but we just missed it. That's another double for us. Ah, uh, that hurts. Let's see where that leaves us on the leaderboard. One hole left here. Let's see if we can make it count. We ripped one into the trees last time we played this. Let's go ahead and get revenge on that nine wood. Play that again, but this time hit the fairway. She's low, but she'll work. Not a good strike on that one. Kind of hit it off the heel, but we are finding the fairway. So at least we'll have an approach into the screen that's better than we had last time. 146, 29 feet uphill, probably playing all of about 160 here. So it's probably gonna be an eight iron. We'll go straight at this and see if we can give ourselves a putt for bird. It's a good looking shot. Is it the right number? Settle in right there, sit down. All right, we got to look at birdie on the last hole. Let's see if we can drain it. It's right in that range where we haven't made too many this tournament. Right to left the whole way, 17 feet, a little bit downhill, just looking to scare the hole here. I think there's probably good, right on the line. I like that. Last putt of this major. Let's see what we can do. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Turn, 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 and settle. Oh, my goodness. I think I did this last time, too. I hit it too hard, and it went by. What do we got? Seven feet. Oh, no. Okay, now it's the last putt of this major. Left to righter on the way back up this hill. Just going to go left edge, firm. We should be okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's in the hole. Okay. What a major this has been for us. We went plus one on the first day. Even today, that leaves us at plus one overall. <sighs> Let's see where that breaks down for points, and we'll answer some questions over at the media tent. Plus one in the first round, an even par this round. How would you rate your performance today? It was pretty good. It was a bit different than the uh, the previous day where I felt like I played some boring golf and nothing really worked great for me. We had a lot of things working well today. We just made some silly mistakes. We had two doubles on the scorecard, which is never good. So that's definitely something we want to avoid in future rounds. But I feel like my game is in a pretty good place. You almost got a hole in one today. Walk us through that shot. Yeah, that was really amazing. I wasn't expecting that out of the shot at all. Um, if you recall, it was a par three that was kind of in between clubs for me. It was either a pitching wedge or it was going to be a nine iron. I decided I was going to take a nine iron, swing nice and smooth, and boy, did that work out for me. That was going right at it. It pitched probably two inches in front of the hole, hit the flag stick, then landed right next to it. So that was really exciting and good to see that I can really get some of my clubs dialed in. Uh, that bodes well for the future. If we can hit more shots like that, we will be in business. Looking ahead to East Lake, what do you need to improve for the second half of the season? So in the first half of the season, we got one big win. Uh, that was worth a lot of points. We've kind of been coasting on that. We didn't have any other great finishes. I think we had one top 17 or something like that, but we need to be more consistent. Um, our game's in a decent place, like I said. Uh, we're hitting the driver well. If we can get the putter to roll and keep our approach shots and around the green play where it has been most of the season, we'll be in good shape. Hopefully we can take off a couple top 10s here, which means we can make it up into the top 10 of the Cornfield Tour points and we can get our automatic promotion into the Pro League. So I'm really excited about next week. East Lake is an awesome course. That's where they have the Tour Championship. Let's see if we can get some points there too. All right. Thank you, everybody. As we check in with the Pro Tour to see how they did at this major, Kyler feels that he left some points on the table this week, dropping him to 14th in Cornfield Tour standings. This means he would now be in the end of year playoff if he doesn't improve his position. Remember to click subscribe as your support massively helps our small channel. See you all next week at East Lake.